Hello guys, still here. Welcome to another Let's Play of Battle Hearts. Uh, now, Battle Hearts 2, by the way. And now we're on the tenth episode. We're actually heading to Luxor Village. Just finished off the railroad, where the first stage of the chapter begins, introducing the red. I I forgot already, but they're probably gonna bring it up. But their uh, bandit group called Red something. And besides that, we got two more recruits. Lyra and Baron Pateau from the East Natra or West, I don't even know anymore. And they got some good stuff with them. First of all, I'm gonna have to switch Vlad to Shield. He doesn't or We might as well uh, learn Halberd for now. For that uh, exclusive skill. We might want to switch the Falchion to Joshua. Since I might be using... Spear for Lyra and might as well take her armor just because it looks cool on Joshua. And I'll give Lyra back the a rubber. Okay, so basically the bullion will give me more weight in order to actually block someone from going into somewhere or something like that handy we might as well go with the bee light for now to learn the skill yeah yeah I think we're good for now a little bit of transferring from the weapons that we actually switched out. And we're gonna have to learn the grow mark from the cutlass, but for now let's switch this. They're fine. Okay, this seems handy. We're gonna need the recovery mark. Or, it is handy, but maybe we'll not use it for now. Spirit. Uh, don't need that. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, we're ready to tackle the next stage. Luxor Village. Okay. We actually have time to gear up more. Okay, we don't need that. Okay. So, so everyone can actually... Go to the shop. Broad. Yeah, we've learned Thunderbolt, so we don't need to go through that. Let's see what I got for armor. Got a chain. Okay. Glaciala. I'm gonna stop by Baroque for now. Got the Elvis. Shields. Ah. I'm gonna get it for now. Let's go to the tavern, gather some info. Racket outside. I have bad feeling. Maybe not good. There's something wrong. We better go. Okay. Are we gonna begin? What's happening here? Just like the prologue. Help! Take that! Boom. Yeah! Get away! Bite this! Oh. Please, I have money. Yeehaw! No. No. Damn. Ruthless. I assume it's rape for the girl. There goes the boy. That's one worst thing to do in front of the girl. And yeah, rape. Chief Bandit Dogra. <laughs> Come on, boys, you can have your fun. 
But don't forget to scoop up food and loot. The beasts. Che. Looks like our, our competitors are at work. No, we fight only army, not kill plain people. You think we same, you even more stupid than you look. Yeah, whatever. Better not get sucked into this. Still, let's hightail it out of here. Those animals! I won't stand for this. Wait, Baron. If they get killed, there goes our pay. Damn, follow them. What? Who's that? Boys, we got company. Yeah, boss. Okay, it's time for the big battle. Gotta defeat all enemies and the usual death of hero. I assume that's gonna be the only thing going on until the end of the game. Yeah. Okay, let's move the Baron or let's move her first. Or maybe Joshua. Attack the guy. Doesn't look like it. Even bandits have priests. It's weird. can pull off a bait, make things easier for us. Question is, will they bite it? One way to find out. One treasure is right here. So, I'm gonna head there. Okay. Good trade-off. Oh, cool. Look at you. Doing some work. This is gonna hurt. Don't underestimate me because I'm a woman. Yep. Oh crap. Ha. Serves you right. Faster. He has 38 agility. I have 37. Chose Lyra. Oh boy, that hurts. Okay, we gotta sweep these guys up before I before it gets dirty. Sorry, but this is business. Take that. One down. At least we have a lead on who they will uh, focus on, because Lyra's really low. And if we're not uh, comfortable to guess where the guy will actually move, we can always move Lyra along with him. This guy will most likely move first. Question is, will he attack her? Most likely. Yes. Ok, 
Okay, let me see if this the halberd guy can reach me. He will go for it. Oh, he has 178, I have 195. He's killing two birds in one stone. If he does not move here, I can actually hit this guy. If he does, I get I get to hit this guy and deny an attack. So it's a good move. Nope. Okay, we learned that. Those are mages. I won't allow any more of your cowardly crimes. Okay, it's good. Black needs to keep moving. Alright, better kill this guy first, so even if we leave the one with the hammer. It's actually easier to guess where he will move compared to a range unit. Okay, got pike left. That Glaciala. Okay, now this guy can reach her. This guy can reach her as well. Our best bet is right here because if the if the AI is thinking two steps ahead, he's gonna uh, make a pincer attack, one from here and here. So the hammer guy will probably move here. Move Lyra here, and if it does not work out, I can always use Vlad to block and probably gonna heal first. Damn. But this way, we eliminated uh, one thing. The, we, we now know that the. Okay, even worse. We now know that the, uh, the Halberd guy, the Halberd bandit, will actually aim Lyra because the other guy can't reach her anymore. So we can perform a block right here. Or not. Okay, she gotta heal. Okay, this time for sure. She's gonna prioritize killing Lyra from here, and since he's heavy, our only option is killing him. Question is, do I move faster or him? Okay, I'm faster. Like that. Or like that. 50-50. Let's just guess this. Oh my god! For real? Oh, how careless of me. Forgive me, I must withdraw. That's two deaths right there. Bad guess. Okay. I was careless with these guys heal. I gotta back down. Actually start focusing more. But he didn't choose Lyra. Oh yeah, of course. He's gonna choose the hero. Okay. These guys will heal. On point, gotta kill this dude. Still got this. In fact, it's e still easy. So totally fine. I can now read you like a book. I actually have a herb so in this case option select if this guy move, moves first he will get to Joshua where I can actually dodge away 
Or yeah, if he does that, I get to heal and take one more shot. I don't think that's enough to actually sustain. I'm gonna have to perform a block. Yeah, I know I'm heavier than him. So I'm gonna have to block. No, we don't. Still on point. Aim for the treasure. Yeah. Feel free. Madonna. Big deal. Yeah, I know you cannot use one anymore. Fag, you're gonna get it now. Forcing me to use one more high herb. Or if actually the other one cannot does not have enough MP. Yeah, cannot use it anymore. This guy will go for the kill. So I'm gonna heal yourself. Thought so. Gotta play this cool now. I don't care, I'm willing to take the shot in order to eliminate you once and for all. No, I'm not letting you get away. Okay, what can we do? Uh, we gotta make sure if we, if we make a mistake, we gotta position Joshua where we can actually save him. Um, he's heavier? Wow. But if that's the case, I'll just not risk. It's not worth it. Yeah, right. Go ahead, Pike. Okay, we just know that this guy will move first, so we're gonna use that to our advantage. Like that. Like that? You like that? 
this guy all over. I won't let him though. What? You're weird, man. You weird. I swear. If Vlad can reach him, still no problem. And thanks for the heal. Uh, I'll take some shots just to make this quick. But yeah, if you choose someone who's actually looking back, I don't really mind. Don't tell me I can't reach it. Ouch, that really hurt. Okay, don't scare me. Got another graver. Pretty useful, honestly. Clearly. Okay, this way we're gonna have to just focused on having Lyra run away. Now to the next treasure. See you try now. So close yet so far. Persistent. Oh my god, it's up there. Okay, that we cannot get right now. So we're just gonna go for the hidden treasure. One more turn. And a V cape, I assume that's very useful. At least it should be worth my trouble. Down you go. Their boss ran into that house. I think I've seen him somewhere before. Let's get him before he does any harm. Any more harm. Too bad. Stay back or the kids history. Wow. No, please. You pathetic worm. Well, if it isn't Baron Patro Proto. Eh, so the big shot can't remember a soldier of his. I know you. 
to discharge you for looting occupied territory. So you finally remembered, did you? I went through hell after that, all because of you. You wrecked it. How dare you. If it hadn't been for the Baron, you would have been executed. Shut it. What's so bad about looting? You make us skill, but want us to be good when it's convenient for you. Forget it. I've always ha hated that old goat's high and mighty ways. I see. You can have your way with me. But let the child go. Huh. The big man speaks. But alright. I've got a lot to thank you for. On your hands and knees. Lick my boots clean. Why you? Huh. Just as I thought. You can't do it. A high and mighty noble like you isn't about to do that for a peasant. There. That's how much of a big man you are. What? So you're going to do it? Ha <laughs> Now this is rich. A big shot from the west is about to lick my boots. Would you believe that? That's enough. What? Where? Right here you scum. Yeah. Pike the Acrobat So that was something, the Baron sure surprised me He is that kind of an honorable man But I heard he was a great military, military leader So it's surprising to see him as a prisoner Then obeying a bandit how dare you speak badly of the Baron? Wait, wait, I didn't say it was bad or anything. He just stupid, he not mean bad things. Please, Miss Lyra, forgive Pike. It's Queen Mother Agatha's doing. She caused us to lose and be taken prisoner. She stripped the command of the white dragons from the baron and put him in charge of green recruits. She then put us on an impossible suicide mission. The queen mother must have a bone to pick. I wonder why. It's... It's none of your concern. Oh, alright, no need to flip your lid. I'm impressed. It's late, but you're still training. I have no one to rely on except myself. It is fine for those who can protect themselves. This is the seventh year of war. The people are facing desperate times. The powerless can only curse their fate while they die off. Huh. You say it like you're a bystander. It's people like you who made things the way they are today. You're absolutely correct. I don't intend to make any excuses. But for the same reason, I'm dedicating my life to end this tragedy. Ha, I've heard that line too many times. So you're going to fight until the West wins, just like the East is doing. No, peace won't come from either side. Then what? You blame others without taking charge yourself. You will never understand. However altruistic, a bandit is only a bandit. Think it over. Good night.
Oh, that's it for this episode, guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure to press the like or dislike button if you like or dislike it so I can actually know. And make sure to comment, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos.